Yes Show, episode number 168. I am your host, Norman Sanso. Joining me today is Ro. Hello, all you happy people. Hello, Ro. How are you doing, man? I am praising the sun, as always. Again. Pushing lanes, sketching works, and doing stuff. Progress, progress all around. Feels good to be alive. Alrighty then, alrighty then. Also joining us, well, returning guest, Yon. Meow. Hello, kitty cat. How are you doing, man? Uh, pretty good. So, what's with the random cat sounds? <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then, alrighty then, can't blame you then. I'm not crazy, you're crazy! Uh, alrighty then. Also joining us, returning guest, Sugar Dove. Hi! Hello Sugar, welcome back, how are you doing? Not too bad, how's it going over there? Yes, not, I'm, I'm hungry, <laughs> I could use food right about now. You should have eaten before the show. Oh, I, trust me, I thought I had, but no, we didn't, so I took a piece of bread, ate that and went on to the show. Probably I'll go make some pasta later on, but hey, that's something for later. So Muppets. Bah. Also joining us, first time, Spec from the Highland Bronies. Sorry, not Ah, me third on name. We call him Midnight Scribe because yes. he never goes to bed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, hello, how are you doing? Hello, Scribe. Sorry about that. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> I had the Skype window open, and it said another person's name. So Yeah, because uh, yeah, we're using a Gamer's Age Skype for me today. So, yeah. it's, uh, so yeah. that's why I was thinking, Typical like, no, that's not right. Mess that's up on our ends. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. So, Skype, you're new here. So, before we can start, we need to ask you the well, two important questions. And question one is, favorite character? Easily Applejack by a country mile. There's not even a debate. Really? No. Not even, no, not even a close debate. Not even, there's not even like a close second place. It is just Applejack and the other ones. <laughs> just the <laughs> popularity list. Sweet. Another Applejack lover. <laughs> oh, is there another one out there? Hello there. Hi. <laughs> uh, howdy. Howdy. Howdy, partner. All right. All right. Applejack. Howdy. All right, Applejack. How are you fan, doing near hills? Let me see what else can I do. So, Applejack fan, that's good. So, favorite episode? Oof, crazy. I'm useless with the name, so this is going to be... I'll have to explain it. It's season two. It's uh, with the Flim Flam Brothers. Oh, that's Super my... Squeezy Cider 6000. Yes, that's Super it. Super Squeezy Cider 6000. Something like that. <laughs> Try saying that when you're knackered. Honestly, that would just... You wouldn't be able to do it. But brilliant episode. That's like absolutely. I still actually play the music from the episodes quite a lot. So I absolutely love that one. That, that's, that episode was good. The song was sketchy too. Oh, definitely. I, I just like the kind of vaudeville aspect of the kind of the Flim Flam Rivers. So, you know, it's. You know, should hear the Indian version. Oh, that, God. Yeah. Uh, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's a good episode. Good songs. Don't blame you. I like that song too. <laughs> Subscribe. Mind introducing yourself to the people who might not know who who you are and what you do. Uh, so the hope, all right. No one knows who I am or what I do. So this will be <laughs> <laughs> this will be a good start as any. Um, Yay. Well, I am uh, I'm Midnight Scribe. I'm one of the admins for Highland Bronies, which is uh, based in Scotland. I I am best friends with and also work with Sugar Dove over here. Uh, I say over here because. She's four feet away from me on another laptop in her PJs while I'm here fully dressed, so yay for that. Uh, we're, you know, we've been, the group's been going on for a wee while now. I think it's been a couple of years that you've been doing it kind of. Four years now. Four years, and I was in for a while. I, initially, I was one of the initial admins. Then I kind of dropped out for a wee while. I was going through like the latter half of university, you know, getting on with work, kind of couldn't give my time to it. I've now finished and I'm now kind of helping Diane run the page and general support side, you know, trying to improve the brony presence in Scotland because Scotland needs brony love. We do need more of it. We we do have a nice course selection. I mean, uh, Sugar Dove's been busy. Like, you've been uh, networking with various... <laughs> yeah, like, you're actually linking us all together. You know, you're just... It's amazing. All right. So you're the one that started this all... Cool, cool. Because last week we talked to Sugar and she explained how she took it over from a guy. And you're the guy then, right? 
No, no he's I'm actually not that guy. he's the the last person of the original group to join. Hmm. He saw a group of four of us, and he was like, "What are you watching?" We're like, "My Little Pony." Is it any good? Yeah, it's all right. No, I might have a look. Yeah, there was. <laughs> There is, there was actually, to be fair, slightly ulterior motives for why <laughs> I started watching that show. Like, did I ever tell you? No, you never did. <laughs> was, well, remember, right, when I first heard of the show, um, Sugar Dove and Rouge, who's another one of the um, high-owned brony people, I'm um, not sure if she's been She's introduced. our artist, but she's not an admin. Yeah, she's one of the artists. And uh, when I first met uh, Rouge... Um, her and Sugar Dove were only ever talking about the show, which is a bit of a nightmare when you're wanting to, you know, try and chat with someone and you don't know what they're going on about and all the rest of it, you know, because you, you get kind of locked out of the conversation because you're wanting to go, oh, how was your day? What are you up to? What are you into? And they're going, ponies, ponies, extra ponies, more ponies. What do you think of the music of those ponies? Oh, those ponies are so cool. And of course, you know, if you don't know about the show, you don't know much about it and you're a bit out of it. And uh, yeah, so I was... Uh, trying to get into that circle and I was trying to get Rouge's attention in particular and thought I know what I'll do. I'll watch the first two episodes, you know, the two parts of the first season. Because if I watch them and then next week I meet her and I say, I have watched these episodes I can then get into that conversation and go and then control it from there. (laughs) What ended up happening was I watched those two episodes then I watched the following two seasons. (laughs) Great plan. (laughs) Come to but haven't said that. Yeah, but haven't said that. It worked. I mean, it's you know, I've like been friends with Rouge ever since, and we've obviously sugared. I've been friends with for years anyway. Uh, didn't get Rouge, but well, what do you? What can you do? <laughs> you can't win at everything. True, true. Well, at least out of that, you got a good show to watch. Gay. Oh, definitely. I mean, you know, as far as shows, I mean, I've got a lot of respect for the My Little Pony show and for the fans as well, because I mean, it is a, like, as speaking as a writer, it's a very well written show. And, you know, so I quite like it from that aspect, because it's such an optimistic show. You know, you want to, you know, day to day, you know, life can be a bit of a pain. There's a lot of quite gritty shows. It's nice to watch something that is eternally optimistic about people and about what they're doing. Well, ponies but you know yeah understandable understandable the, the show is a really positive outlook on life and it has a good slice of life story it makes it well it makes you enjoy the little things and appreciate life that's what that's how i i interpret it i i got no idea about the rest well i think that's i think you're definitely right there i mean it's like those friends of mine who are part of the my little pony fandom the the community comes together so well like and even like just now like you know we're how many countries are we all broadcasting from you Oof. know to do this i think four. five at the moment really five no four five four yeah, four. Oh yeah well, i forgot to include myself <laughs> no uh, five because i'm in two countries at the same time <laughs> you're in, you're the in middle? two countries at the same time you're in two countries i'm in the netherlands and in germany at the same time oh, oh that's cool uh, how Oh, yeah, yeah. In, b- between the borders, yeah. No, I'm on the Dutch side of the border, but my what, my, my, what, my, my internet uh, provider is uh, German. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one way to do things. <laughs> okay. They're cheaper and better, so why not? Yeah, okay, I don't, I, no comment. Because, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. so we, the, the brownie fandom is all over the world, and... That's an interesting tale because, well, uh, I'm part of a Malaysian brony um, group uh, and, uh, well, I'm not part of the admin or anything special. I'm just the guy, well, one of the normal people there just lurking, poking my head once in a while and doing stuff when I can. When you feel like it. Yeah, so true, so true. But you two, Dove and Scribe, you, you guys are the admin, so how hard is it to keep things together impossible really like we can have weeks where you can advertise for weeks and weeks and then nobody turns up and you can have weeks where you plan and plan and then everybody turns up and you're not prepared for 20 people you're prepared for five and it's (laughs) like it can be a total nightmare like today we had two people cancel last thing this morning just before we went out for the event so three of us two of us which are admins are like 
let's just go to Smith's, let's buy toys, let's have a cup of tea, we'll write some sketches for the YouTube channel, let's make the most of this day of brony happiness. So how did it go? Because I remember last week you told us about going well, on a picnic. Well, it, it's wet, it's grey, nobody turned up, so we went to a cafe and we started writing sketches for the YouTube channel instead. So how many people? <laughs> and Kyle people? bought lots of video just games. Two? Uh, oh, sorry, what's that? Uh, yeah, no, it was um, just uh, Sugar Dove, myself, and Rouge. So it was oh. actually just the three of us. It was, I think there's a Comic-Con-esque event going on in Aberdeen just now, which I think a fair few of the community were yeah, going to elsewhere. Oh. And of course, you know, uh, because of the particular age groups of the people that are part of our group, a lot of them, you know, have yeah, various jobs. Yeah, a lot of them are really stuff. young, and some of them are in school, so... Mm, There's a lot going on just before the summer. Well, it would be nice if they would. Well, some of the members would have told you that hey, there's a comic thingy happening here. Oh, they they told us, but we we'd already said that we'd have this event so that the people that couldn't go could come along and have something to do, <laughs> because Aberdeen, although not horribly far away, is still still quite expensive to travel. Ah, all righty then, all righty then. So I'm guessing it was a bus, but you guys made the best out of it, right? Well, I would never say it was a bust. I mean, a, a, an event, I suppose, is only a failure depending on how it, you feel at the end of the day. Mm. And the three of us had a perfectly good time. I mean, you know, we went round to the Smice, the toy store. Uh, Sugar Dove got some My Little Pony stuff. I bought some Wii U games. <laughs> I'm plugging the Wii U, by the way, because no one else has one. So I, I know. Vinyl music, I, vinyl music. Oh, and vinyl music and laser disc and all sorts of things. Sorry, there's a whole story here that's been happening in the last couple of hours. It's been a bit of a retro fest, I think, between us in terms of a uh, what we've been buying. We've just bought an, a vintage Monopoly board. Oh, wow. I've bought the 1977 sweet. vinyl soundtrack for Star Wars. Ooh, wow. <laughs> oh, sweet. The it's original. Insane. Dual, two vinyls with the soundtrack, like Princess Leia's theme, the Star Wars theme, the final battle, all that cool thing. It's, it's so oh, nice. It's like three feet away from me and I can't touch it. So we got that. So uh, um, and we, we wrote some, we're planning on some script writing, so we're going to do some mini sketches for the YouTube channel. So we've been discussing all the things we could do and we're trying to, there's a, a brony that's a bit far away that we're going to kind of, prod him and be like, hey, hey, we need you to do this funny thing for us at your expense. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, is is the story that you're written, uh, writing uh, all OCs or does it involve some of the main it, crew? It's bronies, so we're writing sketches about brony life, so to speak. Ah, so, okay. we, I, we won't give better. away all sketches, but we will say there's going, there might be a David Attenborough style. <laughs> I love bro- okay, about the bronies. <laughs> yeah, oh, there's, a, there's a couple of options of what we can do. I think in terms of how we're going to write it, we're going to try and keep it generalised to bronies as opposed to characters, either Highland bronies or from the show, on the basis that it might be a bit more open to the community at large if we make it a bit more generalised. Uh, mm. You know, so but, you know, there could be upsides and downsides to that, but it's a good starting point to kind of see. What you know, whether ideas will work, whether they'll fall flat, you know, because like me and Dan will come up with loads of ideas, and inevitably most of my ones will get chucked out because I'll end up coming up with stupid ideas. Hey. But, uh, but those are the most fun. Yeah, yeah. Those, You're a writer. You're going to do better than me. I, I'm a director more than anything else. Yeah, I can write. I can already sense that creative control. There could be a battle between us as director and writer, going like, <laughs> "I want it to look this way, and this is the best idea." No, but I'm the writer, and I think that this scenario works, but it's not going to look funny on the camera. It'll look funny in the script. <laughs> So basically, one's looking up and one's looking down. Then, right? I would argue that we're looking at each other at this point. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! That sounds like a merry-go-round. <laughs> yep. But oh, it's all always fun and Oh well. But talking about arguing and starting wars, did you guys know that the MLP Facebook started calling their P muffins? I was so annoyed. Seriously? Yeah. Yep. That's the most original thing they could come up with. Well, it's how do I put this? It's not the first. Don't get me wrong, but well, this just sounds so basic. Well, the it's the least offensive name they could find. Yeah. What was wrong with Derpy? Ooh. Or Bubbles? Bubbles was Ditsy more creative. Do. Why did they change it from Ditsy Do? Yeah, Ditsy Do. That was a hit. 
I don't know. I mean, I do Because Ditsy is also offensive to some people. Uh... Oh, for the love of God. They're, they're <laughs> just being whiny babies at this point. Too yeah. offensive. Well, go cry in the corner then. Haven't they already released her trading card? What was her name on her trading card? Uh, her trading card was... Well, wow, there, there's a lot of... I'm not sure. Oh, she was the male pony, wasn't she? Yeah, she was the male pony. So that's just a general term. But honestly speaking, with this one, I don't mind it at all because, well, there was the blind bag that she was in. It had a muffin symbol. So <laughs> muffin it is, I guess. Well, at the end of the day, we can't say anything. It's not a creation. They're the directors. They can do whatever the floppy floop they want. True, but hey, let, let's let's look at this this way. The piece, piece is ours. We can do whatever we want with her. Write fictions, uh, draw art. <laughs> yeah, and she's uh, our creation. Hasbro has their thing that need to take care of, and well, Muffin Pony is well there. At least she still has the eyes. True, true. That is their trademark, her signature. Hey. Mm-hmm. They did sort of rescind the comment the next day by saying, oh, whatever you want to call her or whatever it is you call her. They did look like they had a lot of negative response on their Facebook. Yeah, but I don't blame them, to be honest, because like I said, this like, Derpy is not ours to begin with. Well, the character trademark by Hasbro is. They, can call, they need to call her something. So Muffin is better than nothing. As long as they keep the bubbles, I'm open to the suggestion. <laughs> yeah, but if they if they if they put the, a muffin instead of the bubbles, it's just another character. It's no longer derpy. Yeah, but hey, like like I said, it's Hasbro's thing, and just think about it. Yeah, that it. reminds me. Why am I complaining then? <laughs> yeah, that, that's true. That's because like... you're a because you're a whiny little bleep. <laughs> Man, <laughs> complaining is contagious. <laughs> it is. It's fun, too. I just Typical moaning Brits because spreading because their just... moans all across us. Uh, Man, I'm a hypocrite. I just was criticizing the name change, and then I said, I had their question to do what they want. What the hell occurs wrong with me? Uh, <laughs> My apologies. Uh, but hey, the Facebook post was not bad, too. I, I do enjoy what they had in stock for Derpy. Uh, and what it, the post was, uh, Gilda the Griffin and Pinkie Pie friends. What unlikely thing will happen next? Hashtag MLP season five. A Prince Bluebird takes Peeps Creek to the Grand Galloping Gala. B King Sombra throws a birthday party for Spike. Or C Muffin rebuilds the Golden Oak Library. Oh, I want to see the last one. Derby could do that, to be honest. She could tear space time so badly it never happens. <laughs> But honestly speaking, I do want to see King Sombra have a birthday party with Spike. I just want to see. I want it to be the other I will way offer you that. ultimate power, little dragon. But why? <laughs> I just want cake. I will offer you ultimate cake. <laughs> oh, come Here on. is all the gems you can eat from my kingdom. Nobody remember the episode where Discord popped out of Spike's bed out of out of the blue. <laughs> well, this uh, um, Sombra. You, have you seen that episode yet? What? Scribe's not seeing all the episodes yet. Ah. Yes, I am. Uh, I am on in the process of trying to catch up because, as usual, mainly because I've been so busy and because I've been a bit lazy. Uh, Sorry, I'm trying to catch up. It. It's, cool, it's cool. It's cool. So, from what I describe, it sounds like fan fiction, right? <laughs> oh, it sounds fantastic either way. I mean, I'm, it sounds like my favorite episode when I come write it. <laughs> uh, do let us know. Do let us know. Uh, but so you you haven't watched the episode yet. So busy stuff, life, or are you just waiting for it to finish to go on a binge? <laughs> oh, that's tempting. No, um, it's a bit of an odd one. Like um, like I watched the first two seasons when I first became a fan. Then started watching the third season, and then at the time I was going through the sort of latter half of university. You know, degree, honors degree. Heavy work. I was also like working outside. I was having issues. I was having to deal with outside that as well. And, you know, quite a lot of things. I was just having to work around. So, you know, Life. as as I am, some things just you know get put to the wayside. But I always kind of kept my head kind of just in the periphery, you know, because as I know, Sugar Dove, she was always going to kind of just give me little reminders like season four starting. Kyle, would you like to watch? I will try, but you know, can't guarantee. So, uh, yeah. So now that I'm 
free of that responsibility and now I've just got a full time job. I'm trying to actually get myself back into the fandom and back into the seasons and catch up <coughs> with what's going on. Mm. Bless you. <laughs> uh, it's cool, it's cool. So, yeah, I mean, life sometimes gets in the way and uh, as much as I hate to say it, but we, we, we are all busy and we do this uh, for fun. Handling the admin, doing the podcast, sitting down and talking. Uh, Praising the sun. <laughs> no, sun, no holy sun. <laughs> no, no comments. Uh, well, enjoy you've it. played Dark Souls. I've played 10 minutes of it. 10 minutes of it. What happened? Didn't like it? I died many times. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> to oh, be no. fair, I, I, got, I got past the gargoyles and then I got really scared and didn't play it again. <laughs> oh, wow. I, I'm just waiting well, for... I knew what was coming, so... <laughs> I don't want to fight that thing. I, I'm playing Dark Souls 2 and I haven't touched one because, well, uh, during the time I was watching a Let's Play of Dark Souls 2 and it looked so much fun so I wanted to join in. And, well, I... And have... you died. Yes, I died. Yeah, but that was so much fun, like learning the patterns, getting to know. Die. Yeah, true. So, Scribe, you, you said that you had a Nintendo Wii U? Yeah, the, I, could, I could tell the surprise there. Wii U? Really? No, I'm Does sorry. Because I, 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 I had a Wii U. Oh, no, I have a Wii U too. If someone else has a Wii U. Yes! Yeah, <laughs> and now, now I'm really trying like, to... We should, we should do this the other way. Kyle, instead of telling us which consoles you do have, you should tell them what consoles you don't have. <laughs> yeah, because, okay, I, now I remember. We talked before. Yeah. Yes, no, we met on a, one of the streams, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was trying to remember really, really hard. Like, I talked to this person before. Hmm. <laughs> uh, not saying that I'm a popular person or horse famous, because I'm clearly not. I'm just really... Absolutely not. Who are you yeah. kidding? NBS show, you're horse famous. No, I'm just... No, the show is horse memory. famous. He isn't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the, the show is horse famous, not me. I'm just muffin with my memory. Get it, get it, get it. Aww. You get five Speaking of, points. <laughs> Speaking of fame, does anyone remember Avril Lavigne? Oh, Avril yeah. Lavigne? Oh, Skater oh, boy. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, ooh, ooh, yeah. I know that you like me. No, no I better not. Not here, not now. So, not yeah, out of tune as well. I don't want our ratings to drop. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the ratings anyway, people up or down. Who knows? Uh, anyway, he was a girl. <laughs> I said we don't want our ratings to drop. Okay. <laughs> Thank Sorry, you. If you, want the, if you want the ratings to drop, just play that Hello Kitty song she made, and that will kill oh, the show. Oh, really? What? No, she did. Because if I remember, now she got a SpongeBob cover, but Hello Kitty. Oh goodness no, gracious! It was. Horrible. If look up the music video, I think she did it last year or from her last album. It's maybe a sort of OD to Japan. Mm, yeah. That is so. Uh, horrific it's like so the worst parts are j-pop and the worst stereotyping of japanese culture well because from what i remember right japan left the real being tom cruise but um japan likes weird stuff the reason i brought her up is because recently apparently she's also now part of the herd really with 53 yep. million uh, new facebook followers <laughs> thanks her she yeah <laughs> by the way english this uh, she she has fifty three million followers and she posted something on the Facebooks. Then, yeah, I, I saw that. I saw that, and wow. Yeah, that's a thing. That's a thing. So uh, she so she's a fan of the show. No, then I her poniness. It's it's. Oh, wait, hey, fan too. Oh, I think I'm expecting a po- My Little Pony cover from her. Oh god. Sometime in the future, probably oh, maybe we don't. Have a pop so punk cool. version of the theme song, like. Can't be worse than the Hello Kitty song though. Oh yeah. So, according to the Facebook page, um, she wrote, Friendship is magic, ellipses. Thanks for taking care of me this week, Care Bears, ellipses. Best friends forever. Wow. <laughs> I, what? Uh, and, and she has one of those rubber bracelets. Says friendship, my, I, I love my friends, Pinkie Pie, best friends. Uh, best friends forever and all that stuff. Yeah, she has that on. It's not as funny as the White House. <laughs> what happened? The White House YouTube released a, a video with the curator showing off some of the artwork 
And at one minute eleven, there's a picture of Spike in the <laughs> in one of the rooms. Oh, that one! Yes, yeah, I, I saw that. What's that all about? I don't know what it's all about. I was I was giggling away at it for a few minutes. I think a question of Daily might have a link, but yeah. they uh. Yeah, the White House has a, a section where they show off their artwork and talk about the staff and the curator was showing off some old photos and I think there was the uh, yeah. main one of the main oval rooms. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. I saw that. On the <laughs> oh wow, I, I saw that and like, what the hey? Oh man. So anyway, Scribe, we talked on a stream before and you showed us your collection and you sure have a lot of games. <laughs> Yeah, I've, 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 I've got a few. I mean, I, I don't want to say too much. I mean, I've, I've you know, I've, I, I like video games. I enjoy them. That's my passion or my main one. Uh, don't want to oversell or undersell at this point. <laughs> Just, but I, you know, I've, I've got a fair few consoles and I enjoy playing games that I missed out when I was a kid. You know, my first console was a PlayStation 2, so I missed out on like the N64, the Dreamcast the earlier Segas, Nintendos, that sort of thing. So ever since I've had the money to do it, I've, you know, invested in older machines and older games. And basically it's kind of gone a bit out of control since then. <laughs> he has so many that when he clears out, he gives us his games so that he can come over and play them. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's... that's Yeah, I mean, it's not because I'm charitable at all. It's just... I, <laughs> yeah, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool, cool. And the rate it's going, you might end up getting a load of PSP game and movies, so oh. you better watch out. <laughs> Yay. Uh, in, uh, no room, no room. Always room. Going Extra room. Get rid of them. You don't need them. <laughs> no, they're mine. No, I'll leave my DVDs out of this. Oh, no. DVDs can go somewhere. The spare room. What, is, what no. else is spare room for? No. No. Why? Why not? No. Why? No, because it's my pony room. <laughs> Put those ponies in there then. No, those ponies belong there. <laughs> Why do those ponies belong there? Because the slutter ponies make me feel happy. <laughs> That's fair enough. Put the DVD somewhere. Attic. Oh, oh, wow. an attic. I live in a flat. There might be an attic. I don't know. I've never had a full tour of this place. <laughs> wow. But, you know, talking about video games, uh, you guys know Main 6, right? Yeah, Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, Twilight, Applejack, oh, yes. Rarity. Oh, it's like, Who doesn't? Main 6? Are we talking about the same Main 6? No, yeah, no. I was no. saying, like, is this a band? No, Main 6 as in the game developers. The one that oh. the fighting is magic. Oh, yeah. Uh, what about them? Uh, well, they recently released some concepts for the characters, and they look good. And, well, from what we can see or what they posted on the Twitters is they have a cow character and also a... Dove character? No, doe character. I don't know what you call. It's Bambi. Deer. 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 It could be a doe. Doe, doe, a deer, a yeah. female deer. <laughs> yeah. So they look good, and Lauren Faust really outdid herself with the character designs. I hope the game comes out soon because I've been waiting for years. Yeah. Well, not years, but it feels like it was years. Yep. Yep. And this looks good. I I, I can't wait to play it, and well, spend money on something that's so deserving. Uh, I thought it was free to play, considering people donated for the game engine they're working with. I know, I know. If anything, I still will be willing to pay, but I think they mentioned at the very beginning it's getting like available for everyone. Really? I think free maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I think maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Don't take my word for it. I just that is just what my brain's telling me now. I think they mentioned that they were going to give it for free because people were donating for the project. Well, at the very start of it. The thing is with how they started, I think it could be a Kickstarter or... No, 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 they donated for, like, the development and the engine, if I remember correctly, or just the engine, so that the... Yeah! The, they were gathering funds to, like, buy the Skull Candy engine, which the game is built on, so that everyone could play it free later on when they release it. I don't remember, but I'm not gonna... I think that's... Like I said, don't take my word for it. I could be wrong, because my memory is derping every now and then. But that's what I think I remember, so yeah. Mm, okay, then. Well, I'm not going to take your word for it, then. But, Scribe, what do you think, man? Like, you're another gamer. Excited? Well, I'm certainly excited for any game that, you know, could be used with a My Little Pony franchise, as long as they do a reasonably good job of it. I mean, um, I know there's been um, My Little Pony games before. Both, I, mean, I know there's been one for the Friendship is Magic series on the PC, and there's obviously been My Little Pony games for the older generations that have been around for like the Game Boy Advance and they older machines. so bad. I know. I do have one of them on the GPA. That's oh yeah, not... I remember that one. 
Oh, I remember that one. Just, yeah, I mean, um, certainly, I mean, uh, I'd be interested to see how the show adapts to a video game and how they do it, you know, and uh, what format they were taking. Because while you were mentioning the game there, I was thinking, like, well, I haven't seen, like, news articles or I don't know in particular about that game engine, so I don't know quite how it looks. But I was just thinking, wouldn't it be great, My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, made by Bethesda and using the Fallout 3 game engine. <laughs> Open wow. world, all the pony areas. You go around as a pony. Clip, 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 clip. We need to put you on like. Uh, yeah, year. actually, it's not pony related because if I remember correctly, at the beginning it was going to be pony related to the show, but Hasbro said, "Look, guys, you can't do this." So they dropped that project and started something that looks a bit in terms of art style, but not related to MLP whatsoever. Yeah, I, uh, I think it's magic is dead in a sense, but this one is. I got no idea what's the game called. I think main six, but. Scribe, your idea there, I'll plus one it. You know the <laughs> fox thing? <laughs> oh, There's your plus one. <laughs> <laughs> you know the fox engine? It sounds vaguely familiar. Um, it's you touch it, right? Kojima's engine for Metal Gear Solid 5. Ah, uh, oh, Metal Gear Solid 5. There's a whole other world of controversy that's happening there yeah, right now. Th- that one is just Konami and Kojima. Nothing to do with anything that... Anything. But wouldn't it be great to have that engine play the pony game? <laughs> it's going to be interesting oh to give it a shot. Yes. I have no idea. I've not even played the demo of Metal Gear 5, so... Oh, it, the graphics are amazing! I know. Uh, so much good. So much good. I, I loved it. It was the first game we got on PS4, and we didn't read any of the PS4 reviews. We just went ahead and bought it. <laughs> and I kid you not, we're sitting there with the game, and Craig's playing it, and the controller starts talking. And I kid you not, he drops the controller and goes, "Oh my gosh, it's alive!" <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> wow. <laughs> so the con- and the graphics. Oh my gosh, just ah, oh, the best. If you're ever going to start on a PS4 and you've never seen any of the games before. That prequel, just the graphics were like, okay, we're keeping the PS4. <laughs> all right, all right. So, where did you bought your PS4 then? I think they got ours from Amazon, actually. Really? You, you don't have a GameStop or anything like that? Oh, we do, but I don't trust yeah, it. Yeah, we don't have a GameStop here in the UK as such. We have CEX. Game, CEX, HMV, mm. Argos, Tesco. <laughs> Tesco. I, just put, I got it on Amazon because it was cheapest on Amazon, and we were like, eh, we have a bit of money. Oh, okay. Well, because... All the consoles. Uh, the reason I ask is because, well, the you know the Funko Pop keychains? I like the Funko Pop. So cute. Yeah, you know. You know. And it seems that GameStop of all places is selling them or having them for pre-order. So, wow. We should move to America. <laughs> pre-order. No, we I'll stay here and keep the home bronies going while you go international. <laughs> Yes, I'll go international. I will be horse famous. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you'll be the kind of pony every pony should know. That's the kind of area it's going to end up. Oh, wow. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, wow. But I don't know. I mean, that's, that's about pre-orders and stuff. But you, you know my opinion on it because I wish I can buy it, but I don't have the cash. The international shipping kills everything. Mm, true that. Yep. True that. But Am hey, I the only one who's infuriated by the word pre-order now? Uh, no, not really. Oh, I hate pre- you have to pre-order everything. Not really. Exactly. What's wrong? It's like, what the hell's going on here? I don't know, it just infuriates me for some reason. I mean, what's wrong, Ro? What's wrong? I suppose the, the benefit that if you pre-order something, you're guaranteed to get a copy, whereas if you waited in line all day and then you find out they didn't have enough for you. Yeah, that's Exactly. Oh, wait, no, wait. I don't that... know. I suppose it that's depends. why they do it in Scotland, because... Most of the big games are at, are niche, so not many people buy them, so you have to pre-order to guarantee your copy. Well, the pre-order is also another way for the company to know that you really want it. Which is why we pre-ordered Dark Souls and Bloodborne for everyone in the house except me. Yeah, I mean... That's... My game has been on pre-order for a year, and I've not even announced the date yet. What game did you pre-order? Kingdom Hearts 3. Ah, oh, soon, soon, soon. Kingdom Hearts Harry's food. Yeah. Uh, well, at least Terra's going to have a job then. Shh. Shh. What? 
No, no, no say, don't, no say anything. Come on, it's, it's kingdom. It's staying on the untouched, unspoken of area of my life so that when it comes out, I can sit here squeeing like a five-year-old and no one will disturb me for a whole week. Come on, we all know that most of the Final Fantasy characters are going to be there. Well, about time. <laughs> well, there's going to be a confirmation. You're kidding, you can only beat up Sephiroth so many times before it becomes boring. Oh no, never, 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 never. Beating up Sephiroth never becomes boring. Yep. Is it un- I beat him up so many times it literally has become boring. <laughs> now, <laughs> Seriously? Now, now you'll do it in PS4 HD. Yay! Oh, we so good in HD! <laughs> See? <laughs> Guys, back to ponies! Ah, uh, yes. But, you know, I have nothing more to say. I mean, we, we've covered almost everything for this week. Highland Bronies, you want to pip your group out? We're always happy for a mention. <laughs> And they, oh, that's a great pitch. That's hey, and Bronies, pitch. we could do with a hello. Aren't you our social Scotland. media expert? <laughs> it's been a long week, okay? <laughs> oh, like we're just a little group, and we're in we're in a little remote area, and it's great to get to know people from all over the place. Like, it's Scotland's pretty small compared to other countries, so like you guys consider it remote, we can. Like, you came here, you'd be like, ah, oh, half an hour to the next time, brilliant. As is like, oh no, we have to go on the bus. Ah, uh, it's so remote. Ah. Uh. So, you know, we we like it when people say, give us a like, and people go, oh, hello, we're from this part of the world. Where are you from? Like, oh, we're from Scotland. So, yeah, we we like meeting everyone. Yeah, we like to get to know people. I mean, just in the last couple of weeks, uh, when I've been trying to catch up on things, uh, you know, Sugar Dove's introduced me to a fair few people, uh, like yourself, Norman, and a few others, and I've been catching up on... Very, like, because she's always going on about various people in the fandom that she's met and she's speaking to and she's working with, and, and you know, outside looking in, it's like, how does she know all these people? Where are they? She doesn't know that many people in real life here. <laughs> <laughs> Just... It's like I don't talk to anyone. <laughs> uh, I like know. I'm the main admin of Highland Brownies. How many friends do you have? Three. <laughs> Let me take but to be fair, the only. <laughs> To be fair, the reason you've got three is because is because you've got me, and I'm just that awesome. She doesn't actually need that many. I actually oh. such confidence, uh-huh. such, wow. <laughs> such confidence, such ego, such as the writer. <laughs> oh. Wow. No, but <laughs> I'm totally gonna leave mic yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah, this mic is ridiculous. The fact that we've I'm gaff. We've gaffer taped a microphone to a camera stand. I've not even got the I've not even got the recording thing clicked onto it, and the shield's oh, not on it. Oh, of course, the shield. Like that, it looks ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that! Don't do it! No, no, no! It's gonna make noises. Highland Bronies! Um, yeah. Yay! We've not put the uh, shield. Biggest Muppets on. on the internet. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I we think are. That was us. Iron Bronies, derpy, times many. Uh, I'm not going to put this all on numbers. We're going to write the show. <laughs> I should point out that we're we're one of a set of four groups in Scotland, and we are co-groups with the Central Scotland Bronies. So we do joint administration, and we do YouTube work. We do. We're going to start doing interviews and sketches. Go for it, Kyle. What can you? No, I'm do? just going to hold it here because, <laughs> frankly, it won't look any more ridiculous. <laughs> all it's right, holding then. the shield right in front of. Me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow. I have no, cl- yeah. no comment. Little group, we appreciate some love. Alrighty then, alrighty then. Because in future episodes, we're going to have you on again, right? Like, uh, if I do remember right, in a review episode, uh, you're going to pop on by again? I believe I'm popping by for one of the reviews, yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that's a very special review, if I'm not mistaken. It involves uh, Draconicus. G1, G1, G1. <laughs> yeah, so stick around. That, that, that one was a f- fun one to do. You can't get rid of me now. You let me in and I'm never leaving. The one I'm doing now, I'm having fun. <laughs> Woo! Uh, but hey, um, I think we really should end unless anyone wants to add something more. Ro, you on? I got nothing. Nope. Oh. Alrighty then. So let me just open my notes because I, I'm derpy without my notes. So anyway, if you have any They're always derpy. Uh, yeah, that's why I eat a lot of muffins. <laughs> Yeah. But anyway, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbsshow at gmail.com. And if you would like to email us personally, links are in the show notes. You can also reach us on Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at mbsshow. See what has the message. And that message is, bye. Emily Larson's book, 
Penny Royal Academy out on Amazon and bookstores. This is the famous plug and it's never going to stop. How much did he pay you, Norman? Seriously, how much did he pay you? <laughs> not going to say. <laughs> uh, he gave him a... That's not a word. He gave you spoilers, didn't he? He told you something. Spoilers. <laughs> More oh, of you can also reach me at Norman Sanzo. I tweet about toy stuff in whatever tickles my fancy. And, well, my fancy <laughs> is... Hmm, how to put this? I've been playing a lot of Gun of Icarus. It's a fun game. <laughs> uh, I should probably control myself. But anyway, um, Ro, what about you? You can find me at Relicious underscore art on my Twitter or at my gallery, Relicious.dnr.com. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And Yon, how about you, man? You can find me everywhere and anywhere under the tag Yon Lions. <laughs> Yay, awesome. I'll like put it in the show notes. And Sugar? You can find me at Midnight Scribe on the Highland Bronies Facebook page. Alrighty then. Give me a link and I'll put it in the show notes. You have my link. You link my stuff all the time. I know. I got yours. Now you need Midnight Scribes. Midnight Scribe's the same. We work on the same team. Yeah, we're on the same page. <laughs> no no personal things, dude. Twitter things. You don't have any pages. I... <gasps> you have a Tumblr. Yeah, but it's just a Tumblr Tumblr. It's not like a... a, a, a what? <laughs> She's you waving her finger at me. Sugar. You're famous. You will be famous on Tumblr. Sugar, you have a Tumblr too. Remember that? I can leave that for him. Oh, heck, we'll link the Tumblr. <laughs> Why not? We'll, we'll send the links over. We'll put something below the video. I don't know how it works. Uh, I can't even open it. My computer will crash. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You can tell technology loves us. <laughs> Oh, trust me. See I, us I, in Scotland. We're like 10 years behind you guys. It's a miracle we were on Skype. <laughs> well, you have a PS4. You could Skype on there, I guess. <gasps> yes, you could. You can, you can Skype on PS4? I don't know. Yes, it has better quality than uh, most laptops. Really? <gasps> yes. I'm going to buy another headset. We're going to have a field day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to retire being a gamer because I didn't know that. I didn't know that too. Why don't you map it? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you could only. Uh, I, I thought you can only Skype through Xbone. No. Huh. Uh, Skype, you, uh... Skype does belong to Microsoft, so I imagine you'd have to have an online account to do it. Uh, probably. Can't afford it. <laughs> Same here. Skype's still free, so. Yeah, true, true. Only when they get paid, when you start have to have to start paying for it, they'll make it uh, Xbox exclusive. Oh, boo, no. But anyway, also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. Yes, we have the Facebooks. And you can also catch us on com. Links are in the show notes. So, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am Relicious. The Online signing out. Check it out from Highland Bronies. A nice scribe from Highland Bronies. And we'll see you next week with more muffins. And less you know, we, we, we would shoot you down, but actually we're quite tempted by muffins. Not the muffins less that you're thinking us. about. <laughs> What's the muffins that you're thinking about? <laughs> oh, bro, take us out. Thank you all so much for listening. If you like this podcast, punch that follow button in the face like a boss. And high fives all around. Whoosh, whoosh. But thank you all so much, and we will sell you dudes on the next podcast. Bye bye. Can't be worse than the Hello Kitty song, though. Oh yeah. I don't know. Oh, Honestly speaking, right? Um, with ooh, what's that going on? Well, That's Avril Lavigne playing your song. <laughs> yeah, you okay there? No, I'm being murdered. <laughs> wow. Oh, you mean so quietly? Quiet, do it quietly, on. <laughs> Sorry, I'll mute myself. <laughs> oh, well. If you are going to get murdered, at least put into the show schedule. Like at this point, that's when it's going to happen. Oh. You can just work microphones on. Oh wow. Oh, well, I... Subscribe. Fix your mic. Oh, what's happened? I need to hold it super still. <laughs> Sorry. Well, okay. Give me a second then. Wow, bloopers for this show. Awesome. So anyway, three... We should make a blooper reel. I know. <laughs> three, two, one.
Please no. What song is that again? I don't know. Bar- Barbara Streisand. <laughs> like big uh, sauce. I like the Merry Christmas version, to be honest. How? Oh, God, no. Merry Christmas. Ooh. <laughs> uh, give me a sec. 